<laughs> oh, so this is a bonus. Dan loves this one. I'm going to play this for Dan. <laughs> he was on another podcast where he offered his uh, foreign policy yeah. advice on the Russia Ukraine. You know, just like last time with banks when they were discussing uh, <laughs> the invasion, they were talking about Chernobyl and everything. Whenever Keemstar gets into international politics, it's <laughs> what are you, top tier. Yeah. Top tier. <laughs> Um, he apparently is a Russia sim, which we love. For him. Interesting, because he didn't know the name of Chernobyl. He called it uh, Shariba or something. Shariba? <laughs> Whatever it's called. The most like logical fucking economic podcast in the last 10 minutes. Holy <laughs> fucking hell. I just realized this is like no bullshit. It's like completely neutral people just giving the fucking like exact, like j just giving like facts and logic here. And do you want to know why? Do you know, want to know why we're oh, failing? Should in we form? analyze his room? Is this the same day? I mean, it looks exactly that was what the, the screen same. Show was from. Was it oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That's Policy cool. is because of our culture and cancel culture. Because if you think about <laughs> okay, it, okay, right, he's fucked too soon. <laughs> you, shh, 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 if you think about it, why do we put all these restrictions on uh, Russia? Uh, on, Russia. Excuse me, Russia. Because yeah. they invaded a, a sovereign nation, Ukraine, right? Mm -hmm. And this administration and our country all together decided, we're going to cancel Russia. That's what we did. <laughs> that is exactly what we did. Say it's something different than that. You Is he serious or is he doing a bit? Oh, my God. Are we serious? As a bit, it's not that bad. As a serious, then it's like, you know. The right lines now. are blurred. You know the answer. But it's possible he's just regurgitating some shit he heard, like, Glenn Beck say. Mm -hmm. This bit suffers. <laughs> you can't. Because yeah, that's what it comes down to. It comes down to cancel culture. All these motherfuckers in America, I'm going to put a Ukraine fra a flag up in my yard. We support Ukraine. Fuck Russia, dude. Oh cancel culture is ruining the entire globe. That's what it is. Laugh all you want. Oh Call it something different. Like you can't. Jam. It was cancel culture. <laughs> Everybody's on Twitter <laughs> roasting Putin, like, ha ha, Putin, yeah, you little dick freak. All that shit, bro. Ratioing him. All Keemstar is, has a lot of sympathy for Putin. People call me, well, go on Twitter and call me little dick freak. All that shit. Guess what? Yeah, they're banning now they're fucking, now, <laughs> now their currency is going through the fucking roof. Good luck. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't oh, there he goes. So, there, there you go. There was yours, Dan. Dan Thank special. You. Yeah. Honorable mention there. Any international, um, any international sanctions is cancel culture. There it is. Mm -hmm. you use the words uh, restrictions. Um, restrictions. For Russia. Restri <laughs> restrictions on Rishi. Uh, famous, actually, the biggest cancellation of all time actually was during World War II. Hitler, actually, mm. was mm -hmm. the first victim of cancel culture. You know, right. Hitler was a bad dude, but this cancel culture is out of control we yeah. should have seen it coming then yeah yeah mm -hmm. i'm basically hitler <laughs> <laughs> although one can argue that hitler was a big cancel culture guy uh, he canceled the jews he did uh, cancel right. the jews right so there's True. that so right. can you cancel culture a cancel culture yeah we hitler was the first sjw <laughs> keemstar hates the jews <laughs> yeah we, we need to ask keemstar for his expert opinion on that <laughs>